Yo, what is up my fellow YouTubers? My name is The Sightless One. If you guys are watching this now or later on YouTube, feel free to subscribe. It really helps me out. If you guys want to, follow me on Twitter at The Sightless One. And you guys can look me up on Twitch TV slash The Sightless One. Description on the links down below will be there for easy access. Alright guys, I'm going to tell you why I think I still am playing why I feel like I am playing blind um, on Madden 22 PS5 next gen console as a blind gamer. Um, and I'm, I'm not going to make this video very long. Uh, the playbook reads out, as you can hear here. 2RB bar 0T bar 3WR. Right? I'm running one, two running backs. And three wide receivers. This one I can run. Four wide receivers, two running backs, right? I can pick this play. Spread. There are three right. Zone alert bubble. Pocky pin. Jet touch pass. Right. It reads all this. Red flat. HB that's a run. That's a run play action. Four verticals. Four verticals that can top. run. Fake. Red option jet. RPO red flat. Jet touch pass. Red option jet. Jet touch pass. Let's say. Jet touch Entering pass. play call right. under. There are three category formation. There are three categories. There are three subcategories. Option is set to under 24 plays. You have seven options. Three okay. to four is selected. This is the problem with with Madden 22, when you have when you turn the accessibility feature on and you're playing against the computer. If the computer was running this four wide receiver set, and it doesn't tell you that, it doesn't tell you what formation the computer is running. You're still guessing. That's why I st that's why I say I'm still playing blind in in this game, because if they run a four wide receiver set and I'm gonna run and I'm thinking, well they're gonna probably run the ball, so Special I'm gonna run three to four a three four defense. Under Tampa do. All right. This is a mismatch. They got four wide receivers on the field. That means two wide receivers are gonna be messed up with the linebacker. And that's a mismatch. Right? Also, it does not read when I hit square. And I'm, I'm on offense. D pad right button. Right? D pad right button. D pad right button. Cross button. D pad right button. Okay. D pad right button. Circle button. D pad right button. Okay. Hit square again. Triangle button. Let's see if I can throw button. it. I think he completed the pass. This the game also does not read the. If I switch plays, let's see if I can Entering switch a play here. Instant re choose new play. Race pot ball. Flip sides is selected. Let's flip. So I'm gonna run a play. Circle button. Triangle button. Entering play call. Okay. Now we flip base. Goal line. Prevent. Dime. Nickel. Dime. So we'll go Normal. Dime. Overload. Three show to. Tampa do. Entering play call. Formation. There are five categories. There are 12 subcategories. I form. Single back. Alright, so let's say he runs. Ring tight. AHB stretch. I run play. See? Look what, he, look what he does. Entering exhibition practice screen, you have seven options. Resume is selected. That's running the wrong formation on that play there, right? You know, if if Madden 22 playing against the computer, if I if I at least know what formation the computer is running, then I have a I can play evenly with the computer. But if I, if I have no idea what formation the computer is running, and the computer runs four wide receivers, and I'm running three, four, I'm fucked. Okay? Because anytime that computer feels like he wants to do the deep ball pass on my middle linebacker or one of my linebackers, he might win that matchup. 
it could happen. It, can, it may not happen. But the fact that I'm in the wrong personnel, that doesn't help me. Also, if it would at least read out when you're cycling through your players, when you're on defense, to hit circle, 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 to at least read what player is your 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 on your icons under, you know, because if you want to just play defensive tackle, and you want the computer to play everything else, but you you, you just want to control the tackles. If that if they could re, that could read be read out, that'll help out tremendously, right? Because you're not gonna press circle, circle, circle. He throws the deep ball pass, and you're the corner, and you're gonna you can, yes, in theory you can try and make the interception yourself. But if you leave that alone, more times or not, the computer kind of plays it perfectly. So, you know, you don't want to take, sometimes you want to take control, sometimes you don't. But it's, it would be good that, it would, it would be good if you're pressing circle, 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 and it at least tells you what, what player your, your icon's under. And it doesn't do that. You know, when I had Vision playing Madden, you know, or play, playing against my brother-in-law, or even 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 when you played against the computer, you at least knew what formation the computer was running. You don't know what play they're running, right? It still could have been an I formation play and still been a pass, right? But it could have been an I formation and be a run. But you don't know that. But at least you had the right personnel playing the defense. You know what I mean? You, you, I, it's just, it's just. I just feel like I'm still playing blind in this game, and I love Madden. I love Madden 21. I love Madden 22. It's like you gave me 50% accessible, and you stopped it right there. You didn't give me 100% accessible. Now I don't know if they can update this in in this year's Madden 22. Maybe they can update it in Madden 23. Because from what I saw a lot of videos, franchise mode for accessibility, not that great. I have not played Madden franchise because I'm still waiting for the new update to happen on sometime this week in September. Um, because some players got traded, some players, you know, got released on whatever. So I always wait till till the week of um, when the season is really about to kick off for them to update all that stuff. But this game is, is it accessible? Yes. Is it fun to play? Yes. But I still feel like I'm playing blind in this game. And if I'm wrong, please comment down below and tell me I'm wrong. I can take the criticism. But if I'm, if I'm right, then I, I, I think, I don't want to speak for anybody else who's blind that plays this game. I'm just going to speak for me. For me, honestly, love Madden. Love it. Love that they that the PS5 and the you know and the and the and the new next gen console actually reached out the playbook because that's what I wanted for the PS4. But I still feel like I'm playing blind in this game. And I'm not I'm, I'm still not playing Madden the way I want to play Madden, you know. I can't go online still. Granted, I got the playbook that reads out for me, but if I'm playing against somebody online and they're running their uh, their defense or their or their offense formations, I don't know what formation they're running. So if I don't know what formation they're running, I'm gonna have the wrong personnel and the wrong defense playing that playing on the field. You know. Also, I wish. Also, what I also notice is that um, there are energy icons on your characters on your on your running backs or your wide receiver your linebackers stuff like that that's green and like when they get a little bit tired it's like turns yellow and then when they're really really tired it turns red um we don't know that as blind people as blind gamers we don't know if our characters or if our our, our players are running tired or if they need to be subbed in subbed out i wish there was some way Somehow they could end. There's an indicator to let us know that, you know, because I I don't want to customize this game where turn off fatigue, turn off injuries, turn off whatever, and then that's not realistic. 
that really is not realistic. That's just playing the game in a weird way. And uh, it, that's not football. That's just not football. But if there's a way they can let us know, you know, maybe an indicator letting us know that our, our, our players in, uh, are, are tired, um, you know, that we can sub them in. But this game still needs much improvement in the accessibility features. Um, and if you guys have any ideas, please leave a comment down below. But um, that's just the way I feel about the game. Love Madden. I just feel like I'm still playing blind. And um, hopefully I explained myself well. If I don't, if I didn't, my apologies. I'm not a very good, elegant speaker. But I do try to uh, get my opinion and my point across. And hopefully um, I did that. And uh, I, ho I, I know, I have an idea that I'm not the only blind person that kind of feels this way playing Madden 22. Um, at least I, I, I hope I'm not. Um, this game really needs some fixing as far as accessibility is concerned. And um, if EA, if you're watching, you know, it would be nice to uh, get a consultation on on blind gamers um, feedback because I think a lot of blind gamers not just me but others might have same similarity in what could be fixed or tweaked but with all that being said my friends I'm being I'm going on a rant and I didn't want this to be a rant um, video but it kind of turned in that way so with all that being said till next time my friends